Hey everyone, I'm out here in the garage today and recently I've been doing some videos on some of the tools that I use around the house and when I'm working on cars and I thought what I'd do today is a video on outlet testers. So stay tuned. So as I've talked about before, I'm obviously not a professional in a lot of the areas that I cover on this channel but I do a lot of research and I try to do things in a really professional manner and that entails using tools that a professional would use to do a particular job. So one of the tools that electricians use is an outlet tester. Now this tool here has a GFCI outlet testing capability and then I have another one that does not. So this is more for just standard outlets. This one here will do both standard outlets and GFCI outlets so there's not really a need to have both tools. I happen to have both tools because I bought this one first. So as you remember, I installed a garage heater and when the inspector came to check everything, he had to check plumbing and electrical. He felt confident in signing off on the electrical part of it because I had used an outlet tester. So what I thought I'd do here is walk through some wiring configurations to see how the outlet tester responds. And the tester that I'll be using is the Commercial Electric MS6860H which has GFCI testing capabilities. It's actually an older version of the MS102H tester. I'm going to try this out on an outlet I installed when I added the garage heater circuit. Alright, so in this situation we have an open ground which is right there. So logically thinking about this, we should have at least one of the lights come on because we have power going to the outlet. We just don't have it grounded. So I'm going to go ahead and flip on the power. And what you should see is right here on the top, it says open ground. This light right here should be turned on. Let's go ahead and flip on the power. And there we go. So we have one light turned on right there, which is telling us that we have an open ground. Alright, so here's a situation where we have an open neutral. So this is a neutral wire right there. I do have the power shut off right now, by the way, so you know that. And what we're simulating here is we want to make sure that the outlet tester tells us that we have an open neutral. And what that should look like is we should have this one yellow light over here turned on. So let's go ahead and flip on the power. Yep, and as you can see right there, the yellow light came on. These other two lights are off. So the circuit tester did its job in that instance and told us that we do have an open neutral. All right, so in this situation, we have an open hot, which is our black wire right there. That is not connected to the outlet. So we should see all these lights turned off. Now I do have the power turned off right now, so I'm going to go ahead and flip the power on and we'll take a look and see what happens. Alright, so the power is turned on and once again, all these lights are turned off. So the tester was actually accurate in this situation and we do have an open hot. Alright, so this is a situation that probably would rarely occur and that's hooking up our ground wire to our hot and then having our hot wire go to our ground. So I'm going to turn the power back on and see what happens here. We should see the red light come on over here and then we should also see the yellow light come on over here. Alright, so yep, we've got our red light turned on here and then we've got our yellow light turned on over here. Alright, so in this instance I have the black wire, which is over here, and the neutral wire, which is over here, I have those reversed. As you can see, we've got a silver screw right there, and we've got our gold color screw over there. So typically the white wire is hooked to the silver color screw, and the black wire is hooked to the gold color screw. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and flip on the power, and what we should see is this red light here should come on and then this yellow light over here should come on. So I'm going to put the power on. 
And as you can see, the outlet tester was correct and told us that our hot and our neutral are reversed. Okay, so in this situation, we have the outlet perfectly wired up. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and flip on the power, and we should see these two yellow lights come on, telling us that we have a correctly wired outlet. So I'm going to go ahead and flip the power on. And as you can see, the two yellow lights are on. So that's all good. All right, so what I thought I'd do here is a really screwy scenario just to see how the tester is going to react. It's going to tell us most likely that it's not wired correctly, but I'm just kind of curious to see what lights come on. So what I've got going on right now, I've got the hot wire going to our ground screw. I've got the ground wire going to our neutral screw. Then I've got the neutral wire going to our hot screw. So let's go ahead and flip on the power and see what we get here. Oh, that's interesting. So what it's telling us is that our hot and our ground are reversed. That's interesting. But nonetheless, we still don't have it wired correctly, which is, of course, the two yellow lights turned on. So an added bonus of this outlet tester, as opposed to the other one that I have, is that you can actually test the GFCI to see if it's functioning correctly. So there's a button right there on the top. You see that button's not available on this outlet tester. So right now we've got the outlet correctly wired with the two yellow lights turned on. And what I'm going to do is trip the GFCI by pressing the red button on the top. There you go. So that turned the GFCI off. And then I can just turn it back on by hitting the reset button. Do that again. All right, so our GFCI is functioning correctly. So as you probably could tell, that was a fairly complicated circuit because we have a GFCI that controls all the power going to the different devices on that circuit. So it was really imperative that I use an electrical outlet tester to make sure everything was correct. So hopefully this information was helpful and thanks for watching. See links in the description below. Comment, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to check us out on social media. And thanks for watching.